welcome back this is Chris coming at you you're watching on day five fishing and you know a day of fishing would just not be complete without a visit from our good friend the stingray you see he's cooperating there turning over for his cameo because he wants you to get a good look at him uh, but of course you know with these we do have to be careful so you can see I'm using my little pliers uh, thank you wifey I think she bought those for me as a stocking stuffer and you can see they're making a nice little accessory here safely getting this stingray back into the water without getting pricked um, I do know some of them are poisonous some of them are not but can't be too careful so bye bye mister stingray so this was a windy day uh, so that's why I'm doing the voice over here and um, lots of uh, gotcha plug throwing and macro tree throwing and that's what you're seeing here a little action just casting it out popping it and um, actually in this particular shot here I actually have a bucktail on and um, a gulp bait and um, you can see that I just hooked into um, a bluefish um, the bluefish were quite active um, the wind I would say was anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour so you can see that I am actually dressed for the weather that is one thing that you will want to do if you decide to go pier fishing this type of year this time of year is dress for the weather so you can see there's the bluefish coming up um, he's quite active so um, they have lots of teeth in their mouth so I would say definitely be careful um, when you're going through the process of getting one of those off the hook you can see there's the bucktail showing you just so you get that up close and there of course is Mr. Bluefish so as we get them up on the counter here we secure them we want to be certain and sure we're not putting our uh, hand or fingers in their mouth because they will bite you um, also you can see one of the things I was able to catch using that same technique but this was actually on the macro tree um, I'll see if I can in, in put a picture in there so you can see what a macro tree looks like but that's a mackerel a uh, Spanish mackerel that I caught and he was very tasty he's already been consumed uh, my mother-in-law got a piece of him as well here is my new LL beam rod that I featured in one of my previous videos um, and you can see it's rated there for the different lines I think 12 to 20 pound test I missed that and then of course that big eye and uh, so you're getting a shout out over the ocean there but um, I have been very pleased with this rod and you can see there's the big eye that I've been talking about that's a shot from my previous video and I want to say that eye is about twice the size as the eye on my pen prevail that's a nine foot even though this particular rod from LL Bean is an eight foot rod but it fishes very well I was pleased all right welcome back to OD5 I made it home um, long night of fishing um, all night and um, they didn't bite great um, but you can see I did get some variety uh, here on the bottom my first um, Spanish mackerel which was really cool to get I actually got him on a mackerel tree um, which is a lure that I'll try to show you a picture of if you haven't seen that and then next up we have our friend the black drum um, was happy to see him come along so you've seen those before here on OD5 and a great trout um, last night was crazy great trout were thick they were in abundance um, I caught four great trout that were actually legal and of course you know or maybe you don't know but you can only keep one great trout here in North Carolina and then we have our friend the whiting and you can see that's a nice size whiting he's almost as big as the great trout you know the great trout there that one actually is um, I think that one measured at 15 16 inches but of course that was late last night and uh, now it's the next day so I might be a little delirious and then of course our friend the bluefish you can see I always bleed them so that's why you see that cut there croaker just wanted to let you see the variety and then of course our friend the puffer fish there at the top so um, this is not all of the fish but I wanted to show you a representation of each one of the ones that were in my cooler and there's also a spot or two as, as well and they're pretty small um, so they didn't make the cameo here but anyway just wanted you to see what the day looked like and uh, that's that. Alright, so thanks for watching.